Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. This next test is another good test for identifying if somebody has a subscapularis tear. It's one of my favorite special tests of the shoulder. It's called a lift-off test. So the way we do this is we have the patient turn around completely. We have them bring their arm back here. We put the back of the hand on the low back. Now, this is very important to remember. Some people cannot get their arm back there, okay? Just because they are so tight in the shoulder. So when I ask them to do that and they have a hard time getting it to this position, I might ask them to do it on that side to see if they can get up there. I'll ask them to take this hand and pull it away from the low back and see how they do. Good, and you can let it back down. And now we're gonna do it on this side. So they bring that hand back there and if they cannot bring it back away from the body, what I do is I try to passively bring it away because sometimes they have just so much capsular tightness they just can't bring it away from their body. Okay, so that would not be a positive test. It's a positive test though, if they try to pull the arm away and they can't hold it there and it falls back to the back or they pull up and they collapse really easily with a little bit of pressure. Sometimes this could be quite painful when you're giving them resistance, so go ahead and resist me and that can be painful in the shoulder, an indicator of a subscapularis injury. So let's turn around. So that is the liftoff test for a subscapularis tear. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks.